News at 2. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sandra Mitchell. And I'm Dave Gonzalez. Our top story here this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Redondo Beach has a harbor full of dead fish this afternoon. Millions of sardines are rotting. The fish covering the water at King Harbor and Redondo Beach. The site is drawing some big crowds out there. And experts say they likely know what caused it now. KKL 9's Amy Murphy live in Redondo Beach with more on the cleanup here. Amy? And Dave, you can see behind me, uh, they continued this cleanup effort. The experts say it's going to take days. The California Department of Fish and Game is saying they are confident that this was, although unusual, a naturally occurring event. They believe for some reason millions of sardines were swept into the harbor and did not have enough oxygen to make it out alive. From the air, the pictures are incredible. From the ground, they become even more puzzling. In parts of the harbor, uh, it appears to be 12 to 18 uh, inches of dead fish. Millions of sardines trapped in King Harbor, perhaps swept in by high winds, resulting in rough tide. The fish were on the surface last night, and the boaters that live in this area uh, were awakened by, a, they said it sounded like hail to them, and then they looked outside and they saw all these fish kind of gasping for air. California Fish and Game tested surrounding ocean water. We're confident that that it, it is a naturally occurring but unusual event. Sea Lab Director Brent Shuey says it could be as simple as several sought shelter and the rest just followed. Those uh, extremely rough seas, uh, you reported strong winds, and they uh, would have started to come in here to seek some shelter from that wind, but probably feeding, uh, found their way into these back areas of the harbor, and then the oxygen depletion would have started to occur. Hundreds of volunteer fire and Department of Public Works employees are taking on the massive cleanup effort. It's just a more efficient process to utilize a landfill that processes organic materials, which is what this falls into. While the public has gathered to see the sad sight. And the, the Department of California Fish and Game is doing chemical analysis of the fish. Many were hoping that these sardines could somehow be used for other marine life as food, but they say that contamination is just too risky. Live in Redondo Beach, Amy Murphy, KCAL 9 News. All right, Amy, thank you.